31st of January 2019, Thursday. This is a male, not neutered, three years old poodle. Okay. Now, the owner came in to ask me whether this is a microchip or not, this lump here, because he thinks that the microchip might have fallen from this side. Normally, the microchip implanted is implanted here, so sometimes they do uh, go down to the lower part of the body. So I, I told him I need a microchip scanner to scan. Now if this is a microchip, then uh, the scanner should show the number, the, the microchip number. So you can see we scan here, no ID, eh? no ID found. So, so this 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 uh, lump here is most likely a skin lump. Three years old, it could be a tumor, okay, or in or, or an injury. Yeah? But the thing is, that the poodle keeps licking and biting this lump, so it's likely to be infected and inflamed. Now, to prove to him that the microchip is is somewhere around here. I will just uh, scan uh, and uh, you can see the microchip number appears and in this direction uh, so that convinces him that this lump is not an exposed microchip it's not an exposed microchip so that uh, it's something more serious uh. so the microchip is here it's a skin lump now skin lumps in in dogs, after they have grown up, uh, can be quite uh, common. Now, since it's inflamed, so it may be uh, infected. So the treatment is, of course, ideally should I should cut one centimeter. In case it's cancerous, then the excision. Uh, will remove any cancerous cells. Now this is what normally I do. At least I give a half centimeter, one centimeter margin and send the lump for, for biopsy. But in this case, the owner is just interested in uh, excision and, and, and nothing else. So I will just excise it and uh, not send for histology so as to lower the cost. Otherwise the cost will be higher. And uh, in practice, sometimes we are tied down by the economics. So what I do now is, I will... So, no, the dog is not, not too happy, okay, I wouldn't do it now. Now, I did the check, check the dog first. Okay, before surgery, we have to do a pre-op check. The mucous membrane. Okay, now you can see the teeth is really bad. There, there was no tooth brushing now. You notice the tongue is a bit uh, purplish. But uh, I did check the heart. The heart is perfect. It's normal. And uh, so all these are compulsory check before any anesthesia. Heart is okay. Lungs, no harsh sounds. So all these things must be done before going putting the dog under anesthetic. Of course, a blood test is ideal, but uh, due to economics, the owner doesn't want a blood test. Uh. Now, abdominal palpation again. You see any abdominal pain or lungs? Uh. Now there's nothing. Poodle is okay, it's not reacted to it. And uh, have a quick look below, no skin problems. It's a very well maintained poodle. No, it's not sterilized. Let me check. Is it no, not neutered? Huh? It's not neutered. Now, this dog belongs to his son, so the father does not uh, cannot contact him for this dental scaling. So we will, we will not be doing the scaling 
Now I notice this this dog is a there's new one descended one descended testicle. So the other one will be above. The, the, the one not descended will be on, on or inside, huh? Inside. So that will be likely to become cancerous later on. But now we are not uh, into into this uh, problem. The problem is here. So in in, in practice, normally we just do what the the owner wants. Now I will usually clipboard before anesthesia or sedation. But in this case, the poodle is rather nervous, so we will do everything under anesthesia. Most likely, just a, a low dose of uh, gelatin and then uh, gas. And uh, this surgery, I would just. Uh, do a 0.5 cm 0.5 cm margin so hopefully that uh, there is no cancer histology is not wanted so I, I will not be able to know whether it is cancer or not now there are other cases where I do a 1, 1 cm margin eh? uh, because then it looks very big and, uh, and that is the best ideally eh? if it is cancerous now the other thing is, of course, you can do a biopsy, get a piece out, send to the lab to check whether it's cancerous or not. But it's going to increase cost again. So in private practice, it's very difficult unless the owner is is uh, is uh, happy to to do histology. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, if this is a skin cancerous tumor, if you do a small which most vets will do just around the edge and if it's cancerous it will recur there will be another lump another lump appearing eh? because you didn't remove the the whole margin eh? you didn't give a big margin of because uh, some cancer cells might spread further down ok so this is the situation and this is the educational video to explain why you need bi biopsy to confirm whether the skin lump is cancerous or not. And of course, to save money, if you don't have biopsy, just do a big excision and send for histology. Uh, ideally, the book recommends one centimeter margin, but uh, sometimes in practice, it may not be practical because by the time you have one centimeter, it will be a very big wound. See? Okay, we finish it.